I'm John Connolly. I'm a senior scientist with Diagnostics for All. We're a 501c3 nonprofit organization based out of Cambridge, Massachusetts. And our, our mission is to sort of leverage our low cost technology platform to uh, develop diagnostic tools for a variety of things in, in, to be used in the developing world. Uh, what we're here proposing today is actually our molecular diagnostic platform um, that can, uh, and we're proposing using it for early infant diagnosis of HIV. So the key thing with early infant diagnosis of HIV is you can't use the sort of 20 cent uh, rapid tests that we're familiar with that look like home pregnancy tests and detect your body's response to the virus. Because for an infant, if their mother's HIV positive, those antibodies from the mother are present in the infant until they're 18 months old. And so you'd get a false, potentially get a false positive. So you have to do it where you're looking at the DNA, which is a more complicated test. And the current tests that are out there on the market are, are sort of central lab based and cost between you know fifteen thousand dollars for an instrument up to you know one hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand dollars an instrument, and have issues of you know needing trained lab technicians and have these other you know sort of being plugged into a wall for power. Our goal here is to create a device that's totally disposable, has all of the components that are required for these processes, um, and do it for less than ten ten dollars. Uh, test um, and you know we, we believe with the, our current scale and our proof of concept stages that that is feasible um, and so now we're looking at you know adapting this specifically for HIV all of our early work was looking at uh, bacterial pathogens um, and then going through it and, and getting to the point where we can have some uh, working prototypes for some field demos at, at the end of a, a year-long seed grant.